What's up guys and welcome back to a new episode of Let's Play Little Big Planet and today Oh, today we're gonna be heading into Ooh, he's gonna tell us. Back in the story mode where you started out from. Select this option to continue to gad about Little Big Planet and collect the materials and such to help you build strange new worlds on your my moon. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be heading into the savanna, and I'm incredibly excited. This is probably one of my favorite areas in the game, so we'll be going to the Swinging Safari by Zola. Ooh, and we're in. We're in the submarine that the king was in at the last level, last episode. Ooh, and are we, we're being launched. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! We're just straight a monkey! Oh no, I'm so sorry! Are you okay? This monkey's in shambles. Oh dear, you've broken one of Zola's creations. Oh, okay. It was just a statue. No worries. You'd better go and see him in his tree palace. Okay, then, but before we do, let's uh, go down here and find some little collectibles. And I love this area. It's my favorite area in the entire game, uh, I would say. It's, you know, it's not like... Yeah, it's probably my favorite area, I gotta say. Like, the, the aesthetic's really, really cool to it. It's really fun. It is where the game definitely starts getting difficult, though. So let's uh, head over and see what... Dun da da da! <laughs> and we finally get the zebra costume after two episodes. We're finally able to go back to our natural skin. Okay, so it looks like it doesn't save it as a costume, so I'll have to do it myself. But that was that's okay though. You guys can see the process of how this all works. I'm gonna unequip the head, and where is it? There it is. <laughs> I'm gonna have to unequip the mustache. There we go. That's what looks silly. And I don't think there's really any clothes I wear, so I just unequip this and I'm good. Now there should be a tail somewhere. There we go, the zebra tail. And here we go. Woo, we're here. We're finally zebra again. Awesome. And we're going to uh, continue on. Awesome. And, I, and it, feels, it feels like I'm home again, back with the zebra costume on. And I don't know, something about the music here, the, the design of the levels, you know, running around on the giraffes, and all the fun little secrets hidden in these just first few levels are actually really, really cool. One of them is right here, I do believe this is a times two area? Oh, not quite. This is actually a rose that we can do a little bit of that. Okay. I want to get some cool stuff. Awesome, we even got like a new costume skin. Interesting. You know, a lot of cool stuff already. I mean, none of it beats the zebra costume, though. It's definitely my favorite costume for obvious reasons. I mean, there are some really, really cool costumes in the game. That's sort of a question I have for you guys. What is your favorite costume, DLC or otherwise, in the game? I mean, there's some really cool ones. Of course, we have, like, the Muppets DLC, and the DC Comics, and the Toy Story, all this kind of thing. There's tw tons of stuff. Tons of costumes that you can enjoy. And, oh, I already died to the spikes. There goes my ace. Oh, well. Get on the monkey tails. I feel so bad for the monkeys. Probably causing them a lot of pain. Okay, so, ooh, I see an item up there. How do I get that? What do you know? That's in a really weird spot. Hmm. Maybe I have to come back. Maybe come at a different angle. Who knows? Huh. Oh, let me get up there because I totally want that. Uh, oh, man. I was so close. Maybe I can use this as a bit of like a diving board. <laughs> Oh no, this is actually, whoa, this is really weird to jump off of. No! Oh, come on! Alright, let's try this one more time. Uh, okay then, I give in. I throw in the towel. It's too difficult for me. I know if we, like, shouldn't we? We should be able to get behind here if we jump behind the lair. There we go. Okay, cool. And it's cool because, you know, if you understand how the game works, this area isn't too hard to find some of the secrets. Alright, so, yeah, I don't know. Oh, can I, like, push... Maybe I can push the object? No, I can't. Oh, I see. This is where I can get these objects. Alright, it's all coming together now. Gotta be careful, though. Also, you might have noticed that the checkpoints are actually working this time. You can see that the whole circle isn't completely lit up. And if you don't know what that means, basically, uh... If I die until that circle runs out, it'll turn red. And then if I die one more time, I have to restart the entire level. So that's... A bit of a pain, so I gotta make sure not to do that. I gotta make sure to be a MLG little big planet player and not die. Oh boy. Okay. Look at this big old drum. I like. I've always loved this drum because it looks like it has a smiley face with the two little hinges and a chain. It looks like a smiling drum. Oh, and this music is so good. It's jamming. Okay, so let's uh, get up here. Didn't even see this at first. Actually, this is where we're supposed to go. So maybe I need to go over here. Yeah, okay, so this is the times two area I was talking about. Not much I can do here, as you can see. But oh well. 
let's uh, run over here, get these points, and then bring myself back up. Oh no, 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 bring me up, bring me up! Okay, beam me up! <laughs> Alright, and now we're up here. And, oh, here's the drum, okay, so we can get the drum I was talking about, that's fun. And I like, I like how these trees sort of look like they're zebra patterned. They're sort of supposed to not be, but it looks sort of like it. Okay, so let's go to the left. I think there's some more secrets over here. The branches are really hard to jump off of in some of these areas. Whoa, monkey's ringing me up. What's up here? Wow, a lot of stuff. You know what this sort of reminds me of? Some of the scenery in this area sort of reminds me of Crash Bandicoot 1. You know, like some of the trees, like the bonus areas specifically in Crash Bandicoot 1 sort of remind me of this area. Okay, so let's uh, go back. We can continue on the main path. Okay, uh-oh. We gotta be careful, these... Whoa, what are these guys doing? They're just sitting on the hot, hot charcoal? That's sort of weird. We gotta jump over so we don't get burnt? No! Oh boy, whoa, what is that? It's a tree or something. Okay, let's hop up and... Oh, is this Zola? Let's talk to him. I, Zola, would forgive your damaging... For damaging one of my creations if you can find out what is troubling the buffalo. Okay then, Mr. Zola. Even though I'm the true king of the jungle, I'll let you keep your fame here. Maybe this isn't the actual jungle or something. Okay then, ooh. Looks like we get a uh, running area. And this area, oh, I remember this being super difficult for me, is running on this bubble <laughs> and trying to keep up with the pace. If you fall off, it's really hard to get back on them. Looks like we're gonna get lucky here. Okay, I'm gonna use the monkey though. No, monkey, monkey, monkey. No, monkey, come here. Ooh. How am I gonna do this? I gotta get the swing on. I gotta swing like I'm a monkey. Wah! Okay. Come on, get it. Ooh. Awesome. Oh, look, we get the zebra pattern too. All right, getting all type of zebra-tastic stuff this episode. All right, awesome. We're doing horrible on time, by the way. We are not going to get a good score for our time, but that's okay, we got a lot of cool stuff. Okay, I'll probably de decorate my pod with the zebra stuff then. That'd be fun. All right, swing by here, hoo -ah. All right, come with me. I think I have found what's ro bothering the buffalo. Okay, that'll be helpful. And look, it's a zebra scoreboard. <laughs> zebra everything, hooray! All right, cool, we unlocked a bunch of items this time around. That's really cool. 75% almost. That's usually higher than normal in this video, in this Let's Play. But there we go. Okay, so that worked out fantastically. Now we'll be going into Burning Forest by Zola. Let's head in. Ah, the ground is on fire. Careful, you don't end up toast. Oh no. We gotta be careful. Now, I do believe if we can get our way around this monkey man, there is some stuff that we can collect. Whoa. Whoa, that was weird. Okay. Oh boy, the teeter totter. A key! Dun 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 dun! <laughs> okay. There are some cool collectibles. Ooh. No, 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 no. Oh man, I burned. I have burned. Oh well. At least we got our, our little objects, our little stuff. We got a key. All right, let's keep on hopping on and hopping. Okay, cool. Ooh. Okay. You know, a lot of points got our times four there. That was cool. What's over here? Is there any objects to collect? Ah, uh, no, there's not. There's just death. There's only death. All right, looks like we got to go back to... How do the buffaloes maintain their composure on hot, burning rock? Poor, poor buffaloes. They, they suffer a lot. Ooh, and we get the zebra material. Okay, awesome. So much zebra-tasticness. Okay, so let's uh, head up. And hop! Ooh. Okay, so how do I get that? I do believe I need to like hop off the buffaloes just perfectly. I remember it being really hard to get that, so maybe I'll just give him the towel. Oh boy. I love this song. This is one of the better songs in the game. How do I get this? Oh, I need the sticker. Do I have this one? No, I don't. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. See, that's the thing why, I, of course, this isn't a 100% playthrough, because there's a lot of backtracking when it comes to getting all the stickers. Oh, almost had it that time. So it's really, I mean, it's it's worth it to do on my own time, but for the Let's Play, it's, you know, very tasking. It wasn't just a fire spooking the buffalo, it was something else. Find out what? Or whom? Oh no! Who could be scaring the buffalo? 
Let's get some points. Ooh, ooh, all the points, all the points. There we go. All right then. Whoa, why didn't I f go Buffalo? Save me, I'm on your leg tire. No, no, no! The alligator got me. That was weird, that was hilarious. What ended up happening is I think my guy didn't, uh, the sack boy didn't, oh, what? <laughs> what happened there? Oh, glitch after glitch, that was sort of funny. Sackboy didn't hop back into this layer he was supposed to be in until, uh, you know, it was sort of like he was on the tie. Whoa, it took a picture, cool. Oh, I bet you I can get up here. Watch me, watch me, I'm pro. Uh, okay, <laughs> maybe I can. Okay then, but I think these alligators are what are bothering the, uh, the poor buffalo. Who? Oh, how do I get up there? Maybe I have to go over here. What's this guy have to say? Yikes! It was the Crocs! Curse their scaly hides! Oh, man, what jerks. Okay, let me do a little of this. And then swing over here. Oh, okay, okay. Who? Who? And let's get on top of the alligator's head. We are winning. Well, alligator's crocodiles, there is a difference. I'm just a dork and get them mixed up. Ooh, and we have this one. Let's get it all matched up. <laughs> I was really bad at getting it matched up, but... Hey, look at all these points we're getting. We're swimming in the points. There we go. Wow, we actually have a pretty high score. I'm almost beating my normal score on this. Oh gosh, no, I fell again. There's still stuff up there. Let's get it, let's get it. Ooh, ooh, zebra swinging on a zebra thing, a swing. Okay. Whoa, whoa. This, this platforming is pretty difficult. Excellent, okay. Let's get this last few points that I missed, and then let's head back. And now we have to go into the spooky crocodile head. Oh no, ooh, look, there's a prize over here. Ooh, a sticker, cool. Uh-oh, and now we finally have our first enemies in the game. Now these guys are a little dangerous, as you can see, they have spikes on our head, on their, I mean, on their sides. But if we hop on their head, we can actually kill them, because that's where their brains are. That little bubble thing is what is known as the enemy's brain, which you can use to actually program what you want them to do, and their actions, and all that kind of stuff. And now our first destroyable enemy, so that was cool. Looks like we have another times two area over here. All right, I'll just take care of this guy and not deal with any of this, because I don't have anybody to do it with. Okay, oh uh, boy, oh boy. All right, another object over there. This one might be a little scary to grab. This is intense stuff. We're hopping over alligators, and we're making sweet jumps and swings and all this kind of stuff. Oh, oh, get that combo. Oh, I got that double jump combo. Oh, and what's up here? Oh, wow, it's a little, it's a little groundhog guy. And we got this diamond, actually, cool. So we're getting, actually, a lot of switch triggers this time around. And what's this gonna be? More stuff, wow. Okay, cool. Number one, baby, number one. <laughs> All right then, what's over here? Oh, okay. More alligator jumping madness, no! Oh, oh gosh, oh no, another picture. I didn't smile. I think my hair was messed up too. No, there's probably something in my teeth. Oh, okay, okay, there we go. Let's swing and swing and swing and sticker, hooray! Oh, wow. Meerkat mom is accusing me of stealing her son's stripey tail. I didn't. I swear on my scales. Oh, wow. These meerkats, that's what they are. And groundhogs. The meerkats are really beating this guy up. Wow. Okay, then. Let's see our score, then. All right. I think we actually did really good. Let's see what it is. We got, ooh, nice new items. And how much percent? I think it's going to be a really high percentage this time. Or I'm wrong. It's, it's lower than last level. But there we go. Hey. Okay, so the meerkats have been pretty mean to the crocodiles, but in the next episode we'll find out what we can do to help out the meerkats. So I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your friends, and also commenting your thoughts. I asked today what your favorite costume in Little Big Planet is, and I'd be really interested to hear what you guys have to say. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.